Hey guys, I'm starting a new series that I'm going to be calling uh, Dad Friendly Meals. Uh, not to exclude any moms, but uh, I've been getting a lot of requests from, from dads who have been watching some of my videos and they're like, you know, I could make that. And they've actually made certain things for their, their family for dinner and they're like, oh, I need more of those. Something simple, something easy, something that's good, you know, something different that's not just like grilling hamburgers or hot dogs on the grill, uh, but, you know, other things. And uh, I'm going to start this one with uh, how I make meatloaf, and I will be doing this on the grill. You don't have to. I'll show you another option uh, so you don't have to use a grill. But uh, I've, I've uh, contacted some of my uh, other YouTube buddies, and uh, they're all in this too. So we're going to start a series of what what uh, we're going to call Dad Friendly, so that Dad can make dinner for everyone and uh, be the real hero, you know, uh, at dinner time for a change. So this is going to be very simple. I'll show you exactly what you're going to need, and all of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So what I have here is a pound and a half of lean ground beef and what lean ground beef means is that there's not a lot of fat and for meatloaf that's really important so you don't want a lot of fat especially if you're going to be doing it the way I'm going to be doing it which is a free form style on the grill and by lean it means that it's 93% lean and it's 7% fat so this is very lean. So I've got my pound and a half of ground beef. I've got an onion, and I'll show you exactly how to cut that up. It's very simple. A lot of people tend to be intimidated about cutting up an onion, but it's really simple. I've got an egg. I've got some plain breadcrumbs, uh, some salt. Some I like using fresh ground black pepper, but many of you probably have this. I'm sure you do. It's already ground black pepper and some ketchup. And then, uh, because I'm doing this on the grill, I'm actually going to glaze this with some of uh, El Rabbit's barbecue sauce. Manuel over at El Rabbit's barbecue, he has this awesome barbecue sauce called You Know You Want It, and you do want it, trust me. I'll put a link in the description box where you can order some of this. This is, without a doubt, one of the best barbecue sauces I've ever had. And if you can't get El Rabbit's, if you don't have it, uh, you can use your any of your favorite barbecue sauces will work because um, this is just going to be to glaze this so let me get this prepared get the onion chopped up and show you how easy this is to put together first thing we need to do is chop an onion you're going to need a sharp knife I like this one it's a chef's knife from Cuisinart this is a white onion. You could use whatever onion you want. They're white, they're yellow, they're sweet. For uh, meatloaf, I like using a white onion. It's got a little little more pungent flavor to it. It cooks nice. So just cut the top and bottom off. And then I like to just remove that first layer like that along with the skin. Now we've already got this cut from removing that skin so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all the way through at that point. And I've seen other people do this where they'll they'll cut and they'll cut like this and then they'll... You don't need to do this this kind of cutting through that's kind of difficult and you run a risk of cutting yourself so the best method I've found is to simply Hold it like this, and then slice straight down from the top, about that far apart. And then just go down and curl your knuckles back and use them as a guide. And just keep moving your knuckles back and slicing very thin, and that way you will come out with perfectly minced onions okay I'm gonna continue on with this and then let's get this meatloaf put together so that's how you chop an onion now it's time to get your hands dirty 
Here I've got my uh, pound and a half of ground beef in a mixing bowl. I'm just going to add a quarter cup of the breadcrumbs. One half of that onion that I minced up, that is plenty. That's all you're going to need for that. I've got a teaspoon of black pepper and then two teaspoons of kosher salt. Now kosher salt has less sodium than regular table salt, so this is two teaspoons of kosher salt. If you were using regular table salt, just use one teaspoon. Add that. One egg. And a third of a cup of just regular ketchup. You could kick that up if you wanted. Use some some of uh, Waterburger's spicy ketchup, or some of Heinz has a jalapeno ketchup that's really good. So now, like I said, it's time to get dirty. Get your hand in there. Mix that up really well. Incorporate those breadcrumbs, the onions, the eggs, or the egg. Ketchup. Get in there really good. Mix that well. And then you got your meatloaf. That's pretty much it. Now at this point, you could use a traditional loaf pan, and then I would simply spray this with some uh, some uh, vegetable spray, and then add that to that, and then glaze that. You cook this in a uh, an oven for an hour at 350 degrees, and in the last 15 minutes glaze that with the barbecue sauce, but I'm going to do this free form, so I'm not going to be using the loaf pan because I have made it both ways and I prefer the free form style. So let me get a baking sheet and uh, show you how to do a free form meatloaf. Here I have a baking sheet. I'm pretty sure you have one of these and I've lined it with aluminum foil so it'll be easy to clean up. I'm simply going to take my meatloaf mixture and just dump it right on top and then form it into a free form instead of putting it in a, uh, a loaf pan. Like I said, I prefer this way better because you get a nice crust around the entire surface of the meatloaf. And if you're a football fan, you can shape it into the size of a football. How about that? Okay, let me just wash my hands. And I'm going to cover this with foil. We just got to take a sheet of aluminum foil and cover this until we're ready to eat, until this is ready to go out on the grill. So I'm just going to refrigerate this for a few hours. It's not really necessary, but this is kind of early in the afternoon and uh, we're not quite ready to eat. You could even make this ahead of time. You could make this the night before and then do it on the grill the next day or put it in the, uh, the loaf pan and do it the next day as well. So come back, this will be on the grill. I've got my grill going. I've got, this is a three burner Weber Genesis. Burners are running this way, so I've got the back on medium now, front on medium, the center is turned off. So now I'm going to place the meatloaf directly in the center. It's going to go for about 45 minutes, I'll check it and then I'll glaze it. So for the next 45 minutes,
Grab a cold one, dads. You don't have to do anything. Good, that's been 45 minutes. Temp has been running about 350. So now I'm gonna glaze this with some of the, you know you want it, barbecue sauce from El Rabbit. I'm just gonna pour this on. Cook that nice. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna let this go for about another 15 minutes. Let that barbecue sauce get nice and caramelized. Stay tuned. That has been 15 minutes and that meatloaf looks awesome. So I'm just gonna set this aside. And let it cool down. Turn the burners all up on high. Well, I get a side dish prepared. This is grilled asparagus. If you've never had grilled asparagus, you should definitely try it because it is awesome. It's just some fresh asparagus that I uh, drizzled on some olive oil and sprinkled on some kosher salt. I'm just gonna let that grill and get nice and charred. Some great flavor on it. And I'll take it off. So stay tuned, please. Okay, asparagus is looking good. Just wanna kinda toss them around. Mm. But this is an, an asparagus video. It's a meatloaf video. So I'm not gonna go into a big production here. I'm just gonna kinda cut a little bit of this. Mmm. Give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, that is so good. That barbecue sauce is awesome. This meatloaf is, meatloaf is awesome. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. There you go, dads. That's how you make an easy meatloaf.